Hello YouTube and welcome to tutorial number 17 in the PHP programming tutorial series and in the previous tutorial we looked at the get method and we were able to create a welcome message based on what the user inputted so in this tutorial we're going to use the PHP post method and we're going to create a, a little login type feature but it's important to note that you should not create logins like this um, you know if you just want to pass over tech one page then that's fine you can use that but I will be making my SQL tutorials in the future so please refer to them if you want to create a login um, a login feature so what we're going to do here is just create our file and we're going to call this um, we're going to call it area.php because this is going to be our protect area that we're going to protect so let's just get cracking onto it in the previous tutorial we looked at how to get a get um, variable from the browser and then use it in a little echo function but well, we're going to take a big step forward now and we're going to get a post um, a post value so we're going to type just as we use the get we'll do dollar sign underscore and type post and then in in um, square brackets we will get the name of that variable and this is going to be username so we're just going to get the post value of username from the browser and the second one we're going to use post and password and this should all make sense to you if you look back at the get tutorial where we get the, the variable username from the browser and then get the variable password and this one we're using the post and the difference between post and get all you need to know is that get is visible to the browser and as we're using a little tutorial here to get the password to type a password into a website it's not very practical to have the password actually showing in the browser the link because that's a security issue so with post the variable is actually invisible to the browser but it will still be used in the same way. So moving on, I'm actually going to assign these to a variable. So we're going to say username equals post username, and then password equals post pass post password. And we're going to go back to the if statement tutorial we used, and we're going to just create a simple if and else statement. So I'm going to say if password is equal to, and we're going to put the password as as we do username first and we get more neat. If username is equal to Chris and then we'll use the logical operator and and then password is equal to password one then what we're going to do is we are going to output the following code and we're just going to say echo welcome to the secret website you are in and we're going to say if the username or password is wrong just simple else else wrong sorry echo wrong username or password so let's just go back and just look over this because you've typed this pretty quickly so first we're declaring the username as the post variable of username and then the password as the post variable as password and then we're going to check if the username equals Chris and it will or it won't and then and password equals password one and we've covered this logical operator in the logical operators tutorial so you should know what this means I'm gonna say if the username and password are correct it's gonna echo welcome to the secret website but if it's not, it's going to echo wrong username or password. So what we need to do now, we're going to save this area.php. I'm going to make a new file called, let's just, it's going to save this as login.html. And what we're going to do is make our HTML tags as before, and then body tags. And I won't bother explaining all of this in as much detail as we explained in the previous tutorial. So we need to create our form, form, and then action equals, and as you look over here, area.php. So it's going to send the action of this is to area.php. And then this time the method is not get, it's going to be post. So we're just telling the form that the method is post, and then, you know, the action is area.php. Then we need to create our two text boxes. So we're going to put a bold username and that, and we're going to put import type equals text as before but this time the name must be equal to the name of our variable that we're setting over here so if we go back and the variable name of post is username so the name must be username and we'll have a line break to go to the next line and then the next one password and and the break and the ball tag and another input type and we can put this input type as password but I'm going to leave it as text just to show you how it works input type is text and name equals and actually we go back here just double check the name of this password variable is post password so it has to be exactly the same as this so name equals password and that 
and then after this we'll have another line break and input type equals submit and that is the submit button and we'll end the form right here so if we save this login.html and we go to login.html we'll be asked for a username and a password so let's just type with a wrong password pa we need username bob password will be password you click submit and it says wrong username or password and you'll also notice that in the link as this is a post there is no value in the actual link so we can go back now and we can put the username as chris and the password is going to be password1 submit and it says welcome to the secret website you are in and that is because if we go back to the code you will see that it says username equals post meth post username so it's got the username we entered which was chris and then password equals post password and then password1 and both of the conditions are true so it will execute this code and go back to here just to confirm the name of the actual input has to be the same as the variable name here that is how it will be passed this post will be passed with the variable names of name this will be the name of the variable and the value of the variable will be the value of this input and the same with the password and you can also just change this to since you've already tried it password save then we can go back and if we reload this you'll notice if you type anything in here it's actually blocked out but it will still work password one and it actually it will ask you to remember the password because um, the input type is a password so that was the tutorial on the post method so I hope you have a better understanding of the get and post now so you know you can actually password protect the page to you know protect some information from someone you don't want to access it and yeah so if you enjoyed this tutorial please click the like button please leave a comment if you have any questions and also subscribe to the channel